Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I had a totally different video planned. <sighs> That's not gonna happen today. Evie, my chihuahua dog, got sprayed by a skunk and oh god, she smells horrible. It's really, really bad. Like, I don't even have her in the house right now. I put her outside while I got the stuff ready because it's so bad that she was just making the whole house stink. Like, I was trying to just put her somewhere where, you know, she was um, alone, away from everything, but it just started traveling. So I was like, you're going to have to wait outside while I get this ready. So, yeah, let's get started. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because you never know what's going to happen here. So today in this video, I am going to be reviewing a uh, dog shampoo. Now, so when Evie got sprayed, uh, immediately I thought, I guess I'll get some tomato juice and soak her in that. I don't know how, how that even works. Uh, but then uh, I was told by some friends on Facebook that that, in fact, does not work. I personally don't know if it works or not. I've actually have never, I've actually never had a dog I've had to bathe from um, getting sprayed by a skunk, even though I've actually lived around skunks my entire life and have had dogs my entire life, but they've been in like the vicinity where they've like the skunk sprayed and the dog smelled a little bit, but it wasn't anything intense or anything we needed to like really worry about. But Evie must have been right next to it because she just took the full thing. And it was pretty close to the house actually, and it smells a little bit outside, but it does not smell as bad as Evie. So I was told by some friends that have had to do this multiple times that tomato juice doesn't really work. Personally, I don't know if that's true. I'm not gonna be trying that today in this video. I'm actually gonna be reviewing uh, dog shampoo. So first off, they did tell me that what does work is hydrogen peroxide mixed with some baking soda and uh, some dish soap. So that is something that we are going to do if the dog shampoo does not work. And I'm actually going to put a link in the description of the video that does talk about different things that you can use depending on what's available for you if you're going through this. But I thought this was a great opportunity to actually do a review. So I went to my local PetSmart and turns out the only thing that they actually had was this Top Paw De-Skunking Shampoo. So I've never used this. I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to see if it works. This is a pretty bad case. Um, she. She really, really stinks. So I'm gonna see how well this works. Um, this says that it has tomato, marigold, helps break down skunk spray odor, uh, oils, controls odor, helps reduce shedding. All right, well, that's random. <laughs> so we're gonna see if this does work for her situation. If not, then we're actually gonna move to hydrogen peroxide and see what that does. But either way, all the information will be linked down below. Now, of course, this isn't a sponsored video or anything. I just wanted to try this out and see if, if that actually would help. I have doubts. Um, I'm not, I kind of think that it's gonna be too strong for the shampoo to actually take away the smell. So we'll see how it goes. Um, also see if, I think I'm gonna do one, one bath with it to see how how well it works. I feel like if I have to do a second bath, then it, it didn't work that well, and I don't wanna have to like bathe her a third time or a fourth time. So one bath with this, and then if not, we're gonna go to hydrogen peroxide. So first thing is, is I got some gloves on uh, because I don't want the smell of her to actually be on me. So next I'm gonna go get her. Okay, she's like super terrified of everything going on right now. So this says that it's supposed to be left on for five minutes. So I'm going to lather her up and then let her soak in it. Okay. 
I can kind of smell the shampoo, uh, but it's really being still overpowered by the skunk smell right now. Like, I can kind of smell that it smells good, but then I also have that, like, just nasty, rotten smell from the skunk in my nose. She's so funny because you can tell she kind of likes it, but then she also looks terrified and she's shivering. And she's not cold. In case you're wondering, it's true. Chihuahuas do shiver for everything. So now we're going to leave that for five minutes and come back to it. Good girl, Evie. Good girl. I think you learned. I think you learned, Evie. I think you learned that you can't be friends with those. I bet you were trying to eat something he had, huh? I know, that was bad. Luckily, it did not get in her eyes, and if your dog gets sprayed by a skunk, you're supposed to check their eyes and see if their eyes are red. Her eyes are clear, so we don't need to worry about that. If their eyes are red after they've been sprayed by a skunk, then they need to get some eye drops some eye drops and some human eye rinse that will help their eyes. But her face seems to be clear, so that's good. And now we're going to rinse you. And now, the test. Does she still smell like skunk? I think the shampoo might have actually worked. I don't smell it anymore, but I have been in here with her. So I'm going to ask someone else if they can smell her. I'm going to ask Jaime if he feels like she still stinks. Does she still smell? I don't know. Let's see. Let's find your body. Do you usually smell like a puppy? No, she's good. She's clean, huh? Yeah. The shampoo worked. Yeah, it did. You did great. Poor thing. Well, to my surprise, the shampoo actually did work. It did take the smell of the skunk off of Evie. One thing I do want to say about it, though, is that she she didn't smell good after her bath. She just smelled like a kind of musky dog, and it was more of like her own body odor, like how she smells when she needs a bath, but the skunk smell was completely gone. So I could kind of deal with a stinky little dog. That's fine. Um, it was I was really glad to get the actual skunk smell off of her. So. It did work for that, and then uh, maybe in a few days I'll give her another bath so that she does smell better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Megan. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and hopefully you guys will know what to do in case this ever happens to you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.